Often when you're pulling fencing, you have to splice together two sections of woven wire. I'm about 30 feet short on this section, and I'm gonna show you how to permanently splice together two sections of woven wire with just a pair of pliers. To get the ends of your fencing to line up, it might help to throw a loop of woven wire over a T-post to hold it in place. The next step is to cut the vertical wire between every horizontal wire all the way down. After you have the first vertical wire on both sides cut, you're gonna pull off these little vertical wire sections. Make sure you don't drop anything. Put it in a pocket or a bucket so your cows don't eat it. If you have a hard time getting these off, you can just loosen the little corkscrew tie just a knot a little bit and it'll slip off. So now I've got about six inches of free horizontal wire on each side. Next I'm going to overlap the two ends of fencing to the first knot and set those knots side by side and then I'm going to wind the end of this wire around this fence and the end of this wire around this fence like so. A fence winding tool comes in handy here but you can use a pair of pliers to keep your winds tight. If you have about four or five runs around the fence here and around the fence here, that'll be almost as strong as the fence itself. Now I'm going to finish the rest of them. Next we're just going to trim all of our ends so it's neat and safe and I put those on the outside of the fence so there's nothing dangerous on the inside of the fence. Alright there's our splice. I wanted to show you this splice under tension because it looks so good. Now it's time for you to get out there and do your own fencing project. This is the Art and Bree channel and as we say here it was another great day on the homestead.